Today I'm going to show you how you can do a really good arm workout with only just mom weights. What are mom weights? R little rubber weights like this. This. One. So I remember when I was growing up, these are the only weights my mom had at home. So when you're stuck at home, you can still do good gymnastic specific exercises and develop good arm gains with this weight. had these weights these types of weights lying around and I always thought what am I gonna do with these um, but since then I've learned figured out now that I have been in this basement for two weeks figured out how to do some pretty good exercises and develop some pretty good workouts that not only um, get pretty good upper body and that are gymnastic specific but also killing two birds with one stone these are really good for doing plank work and plank exercises and incorporating some type of movement in a plank. So you're getting core and upper body and complete body stabilization in with it. So there are four different categories I've broken down into on how you can use these types of weights. It's rehab or injury prevention, prehab type stuff, um, straight arm gymnastics type work, which is very important. You can do a lot of this at home, working on locking out your elbows, overhead shoulder mobility, more gymnastic specific skills like on rings, like the inlocate, um, lock arm giant, and also general conditioning. Like I mentioned, planks, um, push-ups with a row, um, straight arm flies, bent over, tricep extensions. There's a lot of stuff you can do with just lighter five to 10 pound rubber weights. So here are some rehab injury prevention uh, type exercises you can do with the lighter weights like the fives or three pound weights. Boys on my team, I'm really big on overhead shoulder mobility and just shoulder mobility as a whole, getting the shoulder to go smoothly through the full range of motion. So a good exercise for you to do is get half kneeling. We're gonna use our right hand, left leg out in front in a lunge. We're just gonna start with our thumb up. We're gonna do all the way full shoulder rotation. We're gonna go thumb up all the way. And we're gonna turn our thumb down after we reach the top and slowly lower on the way down, and then back the other way. So big circle, make sure we don't turn our body to get that back part. We keep our shoulders as facing forward as we can, and we're going up, turning our thumb down, and lowering. So five, five reps on each arm. Great injury prevention, great shoulder rehab. Um, shoulder mobility type exercise. I do it every day in my warm ups for my upper body workouts. So a good combo is the stomach down, laying flat on the belly, um, straight arm tricep pulls, where you pull back behind your body laying down, and then combining that with the Maltese hollow hold. Hollow hold, holding the weights in a Maltese position and pressing up. Also doing this reactive style, kind of bouncing and catching, will also really help learn how to absorb a lot of weight and then push it back up. The tricep exercises you can do with only 10 pounds that will work the tricep a lot is uh, bent over, tricep pulls, gonna bend over, keep your back straight, hands facing forward, head neutral, and you're gonna pull all the way back behind your back and hold. So a good 
sets and reps is three sets of five for five second holds at the top of each motion. You're gonna really feel it in your whole tricep. So how are we gonna work our biceps at home with limited weight? Not doing a lot of curls like this, but we're gonna keep our arms straight and we're gonna do isometric uh, bicep work. So we keep our, we're gonna pull straight through, up, down, and hold. Pull up, down, and hold here. Also another thing you can do is resist. So we're gonna fall down fast, try and catch, and then push back up fast. ability and it will also just load the biceps a little bit more with the lighter weight. So for our shoulders with lighter 10 pound weights or 5 pound weights for the younger guys we're going to work on mostly just holds. So we're going to do uh, try about three sets of five of five second holds. So this would be one, two, three, five and we're going to come down Bring them together, hold five seconds. Now we'll do one rep, and you would do all five reps at the same time without coming down. So these isometric holds with a little bit of movement really works the shoulders, really stabilizes the upper back, scapula, and uh, gymnastics. When I'm developing gymnastics type of exercises, I like to think about motions that the athletes are performing. This one's specifically for rings in the Yamawaki. So if we turn our palms facing up, we bend over in that position, getting more of a tighter tuck. We're gonna pull and then go out and back in. And pull, out and back in. So this is very specific for the Yamawaki in, in gymnastics. Learning how to get sit on top, feel the pressure right here push down through the rings, and then roll forward on the second foot of the Milwaukee. So, all the older level eights, nines, and older level tens, really need to be working these, these motions, these exercises at home, so you understand the strength and the skill. The way to work, good shoulder, more like cross position, like uh, instead of pushing down, working on pulling, but also working the reactive aspect of it. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna hold the weight out. We're gonna pretend like we're gonna drop it a little bit, catch it, and try to keep it in the same spot. So drop, keep dropping it, and then catch it and pull it back up. Really fine reactive movements, really help stabilize the shoulder for rings, and be able to catch and lock into different positions in the right positions. So when we do these reactive movements, I want us to do it with just single arm not both at the same time. So single arm helps you feel it, work the core too on the opposite side of the arm that's working. So I go on this side, work on this, really squeezing the core on this side. So we're preventing ourselves from falling this way when we catch the weight. So it's really good for the opposite motion of a cross. The cross roll is pushing down. So this works the opposite of that, is pulling up. So working the push-pull, it's also very important to get a whole stabilization in the shoulder at home when you're not in the gym working on the rings and you don't have the ability to do ring strength. So other gymnastics straight on work that you can do that resembles skills in gymnastics very specifically is from a hollow hold with the weight. So this is gonna more simulate like a swing handstand on parallel bars. So we're gonna grab the weights, get a good hollow hold we're gonna put the weights up, vertical, hands facing into each other just like PRs. We're gonna hold, we're gonna press up and sit up at the same time. Then come back down slow. Up, go to the seated pike, all the way out. Make sure you're not here with your back loose. Make sure you're pushing tall, pushing the weights into the ceiling, then coming down, easing down slow. 
and then fast up. So I want eccentrics a little lower on the way down, and then push up as fast as you can, reaching tall in that peak position. So just like a powerful swing handstand on P bars, you can do it at home, very gymnastic specific. Another thing, Maltese presses. This is a little, white, little lighter weight than what I would like in a Maltese press, but if you're just getting started with this exercise, 10 pounds, it's a good place to start. So hollow hold, we're gonna put our palms up, hollow hold, we're gonna hold this, press up and down. Make sure when we press up, we're squeezing our pinkies together and not just up in this plane. If we push up like this, it's gonna cause our shoulders to roll back. We don't want that. If we ever learn Maltese push planche one day, we have to squeeze our pinkies. We have to press in like this, not straight up, but pinkies together and squeezing the pecs together at the top of the motion. So with the lighter weights, good sets, we're gonna hold the hollow hold. We're gonna do about three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps. If that's too easy, try 15. Or if that's too easy, go down and try and hold the bottom position five seconds before each rep, pressing back up. Try it out. Great exercises you can do that works the whole core and the back of the shoulder. Pulling motion is a high side plank with an isometric dumbbell hold. So we're gonna get high side plank here. Make sure our shoulder to toe straight line, no sagging, straight line squeezing our core on this side, and grab the weight. We're just gonna hold it here. Another 10 second hold, go down, back up. Also, you can go up to here, come down, hold. This exercise can also be done in a normal side plank on the elbow. Same thing, nice straight line, and pick up and hold. For this exercise, you do three sets of five with a five second hold. So five seconds here, come down, back up, five seconds. Five of those, five seconds. Pretty easy to remember, that's a rep scheme that I like to do with all my isometric exercises. Another great plank variation you can do that uh, changes it up a bit and doesn't get uh, boring just holding a plank is uh, plank pull-throughs with the weight. So we're gonna get a good plank. You can have your feet a little bit apart and then we're gonna grab the weight, pull through the body. Grab the weight, pull through. Reach underneath the arm, pull through. So make sure we're not turning and twisting our body and we're holding and squeezing our core the whole time. Locking out our knees, working on good, working on good form and strengthening, um, being able to lock out the knees. And uh, do about two sets of 12, two sets of 15, and that'll be a good, um, good exercise to throw in for your core work, stability work, and plank exercise, all the variations that I've already showed you. Uh, if you want a full link of the whole workout PDF file of what I would do with these exercises in a workout, click the link below. At home, change it up, get creative. There's a lot of different variations you can do using these weights and just mixing it up and not getting bored with just normal plank holds or normal hollow body holds. You can actually incorporate a lot of different type of movements to stabilize the whole body and get the results you want with minimal weight. So hopefully that gave you great ideas of exercises you can do at home with minimal equipment, um, just one or two dumbbells. And if you don't even have that, you can use, uh, you can use a book. You can use anything that has, you know, that is about five to 10 pounds. Um, you know, textbooks are a good thing to do with the plank slide throughs or anything like that. Um, you don't have to just use these types of weights if you don't have it. But there's a lot you can do with this. Don't just put them off in the corner. In this extended time at home, get creative, add some, thing, add some new things into your workout and increase your health and fitness and do all that you can and stay healthy. If you like this video, hit the like button. Tell me what you think about these exercises in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.